Hi everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you an example of how chart work questions can sometimes be solved using simple mathematical drawings or simple math. In this regard, we will take today's question which is you are steering 072 degrees true at 10 knots. A current is setting at 100 degrees true at 5 knots. Find your course made good to the nearest degree and the distance covered to the nearest one decimal point if you sail for three and a half hours. Now before I show you how to solve this chart work question using math, remember that not all chart work questions can be solved using math. I am not saying that, but most of them can be. And second thing is that our answers might differ slightly here because I will use a compass rose and you might use a plain paper or you might use a chart to do this question. And also because the thickness of our pencils might differ slightly or the scale that you take might differ slightly. All right. However, our answers will be quite close. So let's get started to see how we can solve this question using mathematical drawings. So the first thing that you will do is just draw a cross like this. All right. You can draw a cross at any part of the paper. I have drawn it at this corner because I know this is how the diagram will be made. So we can start here. Just draw a cross here, right? And then what you do is you have to measure a 0, 072 degrees true. So which is your course to steer. All right. So you can keep your protector here and then measure out 0, 072. Now remember, don't look at 70 here and then 72 and mark this here. No, that's not the correct way. You have to measure 72 degrees, assuming that this here is the north. So this becomes the north here. So what you do is you keep your protractor here and then measure out 72 degrees. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then this will be about 72 degrees, right? This is your uh, course to steer. And then what you do is you can draw 72 degrees like this. So I'm intentionally using a plain piece of paper and not a compass rose or something because I want to show you how you can solve chart work course questions without using a chart or a plotting sheet, right? So then you can draw 72 degrees and what you can do is then measure out 10 nautical miles because remember your course to steer is 072 degrees at 10 knots per hour. So you have to draw the triangle for a vector of one hour. All right. So this is here. So this here. So the scale that I'm using is one centimeter equals one nautical mile, right? So you draw, this is your course to steer, which is marked by a single arrow. This becomes your course to steer CTS, which is equal to 0, 072 degrees true multiplied by 10 knots. This is the speed for one hour. So you have to draw this triangle for one hour. All right. So once you have got this, you can draw a similar cross here as well. All right, just draw a cross here. All right, so this is 0, 072 multiplied by 10. And now you have to apply your current. All right, so you apply for your current. So when you allow the effect of current, remember, winds come from and currents go to. So what does this mean? So because your current is 100 degrees at 5 knots, you have to draw it towards 100 degrees. Currents go to and winds come from. All right. So how do you do that? So as you know, if this is north, this is 0, 0, 0 degrees. This becomes 0, 9, 0 degrees. That is right. Correct. So this is 90 degrees. So then you need another 10 degrees. So just put your protractor like this and then measure out 10 degrees here. So this becomes 100 degrees. So this is where current is going to remember that. All right. So currents go to. So because your direction of current is 100 degrees, you have to go towards 100 degrees. Right. So you don't apply it from 100 degrees. You go towards 100 degrees. So what you do is you, you draw 100 degrees here. 
and you show the current with three arrows and your current your current was 100 degrees true at 5 knots per hour all right so if the speeds are given for only an hour you have to draw it for only an hour so this is 1 centimeter equals 1 minute or 1 nautical mile rather so this is 5 centimeters right I don't need rest of it this is the this is where it should end right so this is 5 centimeters then what you do is you can join this with this here and this will give you your course made good so just join this right this is the course you make good show it with double arrows this is the course made good because you allowed for the effect of current so ideally you should have been going from here to here but because of the effect of current which was 100 degrees true at 5 knots this is where you reached and this is all for one hour right so first you measure out the course made good so when you measure out the course made good put the protector here this was 72 degrees right so here you can see 80 81 somewhere around 81 degrees so this your course made good if you measure it out similarly how you measure out your course to steer assuming that this vertical line is the north right this is the north 0 0 0 degrees so this angle that you measure out this angle this becomes your course made good so this course made good is about 0 8 1 degrees true so you might be getting somewhere close to 81 or 82 degrees now course is the course for one day one hour all right it is will be the same for three and a half hours so remember we have to make or we have to find the course made good and distance traveled for three and a half hours right so course made good is 0 8 1 degrees it doesn't matter for one hour or three and a half hours it's the same but distance travel what we'll have to do is we'll have to find out how much distance you travel in one hour because this is the triangle for one hour and then multiply it with three and a half hours so here you have traveled about 14.3 nautical miles all right so my distance travel is 14.3 nautical miles but this is for one hour one hour only so what we have to do is to find the total distance traveled in three and half hours you have to take 14.3 multiplied by three and half right so what I'll do is I'll use my calculator and uh, I'll you can do it separately I'll just use my calculator here so what I'll do is I'll try take 14.3 multiplied by 3.5 so when I say three and a half hours so 3.5 hours so somewhere around 50 0.05 nautical miles so this is the distance we have traveled in three and a half hours so if your answer is somewhere around 51 nautical miles uh, so that's fine as well like I said your answers will slightly differ depending on how you measure out the angle how thick is your pencil how sharp are these lines that you have drawn but today's exercise was all about showing you how I can simply use math to do a chart work question I don't really need a chart or a plotting sheet I can simply use the principles of math and geometry and draw out the problem and find the solution. Alright, so let me know what you thought about this video and I look forward to your uh, feedback and comments. Bye for now guys. See you soon.